Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, galactic magnetic creators of the new time. We are the manifestors of time as art with unlimited potential and power. Still riding these higher dimensional waves of this powerful Lionsgate portal, we are in the Omega Stargate of the New Earth timeline. Keep anchoring in the codes and frequencies of the golden age of eternal timelessness of our infinite multidimensional selves. God, Goddess Head of our true divine nature has made manifest. Moment by moment we are being activated and transformed into a higher version of ourselves closer to source resonance. As we merge all timelines and every aspect of ourself, we become the embodied way shower in service to all by shining our light brightly into the void. With heart fully open and eyes to the sky, we walk gently on our sacred path to holy Shambhala. In unity consciousness, we bridge heaven and earth, being connected to all things in all realms, timelines, and dimensions. In the totality of our ascended mastery, we rise in the glory of our sacred self. As Gaia rises, we rise with her on this great ascension journey. There is no plateau to bliss, health, and longevity. As we breathe in the heavenly chi and cultivate our wisdom of the ages, we navigate these unprecedented times to carry life to the other shore, fully awake, fully aware. Aho! And with these fiery, intense, powerful energies coming in, we had more intense earth changes and activations, more flooding all over the lands. We had more floods in Russia, a massive flooding in Omaha, Nebraska, and China has evacuated over 80,000 people in Sichuan province from these floods. Earthquakes, volcanoes going off, these are all signs of this great shift. Over the last 24 hours, we had many activations with the earthquakes 136 and 1.5 or greater, most powerful 5.3 in southern mid-Atlantic ridge. Earlier today in Willow, Alaska 3.7, 37 into 73, Alaska Peninsula 36, Bristol Bay 3.2, British Virgin Islands 3.4, Divine Masculine, another activation in the Crown, multiple Alaska Peninsula 3.5, Mexico 4.7, Aleutian Islands 5.0, Chile, South America 4.2, China 4.7, Wheeler, Texas, United States 3.5, then the 5.3, Mare of the 3.5, creating an 8.8 portal, Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, Sandpoint, Alaska, also crowned 3.5, another activation, Southern Mid-Atlantic 5.0, 4.0 at Aleutian Island, Indonesia 4.9, another 3.3 activation, Alaska Peninsula, Veracruz, Mexico 4.3, Russia 4.0, Mankato, Kansas 3.5, Puerto Rico 3.1, Peru, South America, Andes Mountains, Kundalini Pachamama 5.0, Puerto Rico 3.1, Indonesia 4.3, Another Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the Trinity, the third, a 5.0. Colombia, South America, and the North, Amazon, the Andes Mountains, 4.1. San Antonio de los Cobres, Argentina, 4.3. Indonesia, 4.6. Myanmar, 4.8, 12, Divine Goddess. Many activations all over this realm. All the portals open, the grid totally lit up. With these powerful lion energies of the 8-8, many vivid dreams, synchronicities, deep intense feelings. Let us know in the comments below how your 8-8 Lionsgate portal went, how you're feeling now. We definitely felt a major shift. We're on a new timeline, new energies coming in moment by moment now. Creative flow coming in. Also the veil to the other side, very thin, connecting with our loved ones on the other side the higher dimensions, the higher realms. Also yesterday on the Lion's Gate, our divine bro star of the light, Paul Hellier, transitioned. He was part of the Disclosure Movement in Canada and the former Minister of National Defense. 144 coming in. So our love and blessings go to Paul 
and his family. May you fly free, Divine Bro Star. He is now working with us in the higher realms. Namaste. In the photo at the beginning of today's transmission is our family friend, Arbeda Darwin. Let us know what you think of that little beauty. Now let us continue with the current Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 8 degrees 3 minutes Virgo. The sun is at 17 degrees 50 minutes Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 18 degrees Leo. A chemist conducts an experiment for his students. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 9 degrees Virgo. An expressionist painter making a futuristic drawing from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor should pull a card for you from the tarot deck Shadowscapes from Stephanie Poimoon Law and Barbara Moore. And the card she pulled for you today is Queen of Wands. 555 flowing. The fire brindled fur of foxes darting about in the shadows surrounds her. They watch among the other denizens of the forest who are drawn out by the singing of the harp on which the queen plays. She glows in the midday light, her presence like a white-hot flame that radiates with the warmth of her spirit. The Queen of Wands fingers dance her across the strings and she embraces the tree that is at once her audience of dryads, her instrument, and her living wand. The Queen of Wands is dedicated, engaging, and attractive. She is always cheerful and upbeat. She knows the role of a queen and plays it with perfect, calm assurance. She is used to being the center of attention and knows it is her due. Her presence exudes confidence and the knowledge that she can handle anything and anyone. It is not arrogance but a simple understanding and truthful assessment of her skills and abilities. It is easy for her charms to be turned towards darker purposes of deceit and manipulation. She guards against this temptation. Mesmerized by this, the world hushes at her entrance to hear her, see her, and bathe in her radiance. Her exuberance in life sings out as her hands dance across trills and runs and glissandos upon the living harp. And now today from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith, massive energies and even more extreme upgrades. Talk about a magical Sunday. We were subjected to some of the biggest energies we've ever experienced. Remember, it takes about three days to integrate those energies and bring in those upgrades to your system. That means more knowings, more understandings, more abilities, more of the true you. Sky is the limit for you after all these energies, and this is just the beginning. I bet you had some amazing experiences overnight. My guides talked all night about timelines. Something to the effect of timelines are fixed up to 20%. That percentage gives you the ability to change things as needed. So you truly are what you believe not just by manifesting the world around you, but also what you believe your life path will be. You are truly powerful and always. Speaking of power, thank you for all the emails and messages about the power outages all over the globe. You are amazing. Too many outages yesterday to list here, but I believe the most uncommon goes to New Zealand. Their outage set records and they declared a grid emergency. Also, we experienced 208 earthquakes worldwide Sunday. But what really intrigued me were the twin volcanoes in Alaska. Alaska is experiencing a lot of big earth changes. Several earthquakes yesterday too, not to mention the 8.2 quake they experienced not too long ago. But we aren't done yet though. Energies are pulsing today. That means it might feel emotional today as you rest up from a magical lion's gate. You are amazing. Happy Monday, Divine One, from a girl in the universe dot com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Huang Goyen. We made it through the gate, dear starseeds. The most intense Lion's Gate energies that we have experienced so far, and yet the high frequency energy influx hasn't stopped. Our systems have been cleansed, adjusted, readjusted, upgraded as new light codes and downloads still coming. Ascension symptoms affect our systems, our tiredness, sleepiness, sleeplessness, air ringing, pressure, vertigo, nausea, exhaustion, heart purging, major upgrades in root chakra, sacral chakra, and heart chakra. Many also experience blue heart chakra activation and upgrade. Fast if you can, especially for those who experience root, sacral upgrades. Any food you eat while the kundalini moves through the digestive system 
will just ferment and won't actually provide you with nutrition. Once the food is fermented, it will require extra resources and energy to protect the body from toxicity and eliminate the useless food. For now, honor this sacred exhaustion. Rest when and where possible. Drink more water. Stay calm. For we are to power through another gateway on the 12th of August. With blessings and much love, Godspeed. And from the order of the star, the rebirth of a new earth and humanity. For consciousness to move from one reality to another and stabilize, a compatible frame of mind and heart, body, and soul coherence must come into place in spirit. Thus we have spent the better part of this year in and amongst the most advanced galactic, cosmic, deep space frequencies, surges, waves, codes, sacred geometry, spiraling radiations of universal light, and streams of new creation codes igniting humanity's next cycle of enlightenment soul embodiment and full body transfiguration day by day we have been woven deeper and deeper into the new ebb and flow of higher holy life penetrating every neuron tissue particle dna and cell clearing what was and inserting what is leading us deeper into the marriage of the soulful new human and the creator as one entering a new life cycle of eternal inheritance and freedom there's an acceleration and expansion of christ consciousness greatly assisting this lion stargate and it's a time of increased cosmic galactic energy between the physical and spiritual realms the royal lions of the stargate will be guiding us as these new higher frequencies flood the planet the old paradigm will continue to dismantle and collapse we are releasing old karmic patterns that no longer serve us so that we can create a new space for peace love and unity this is a rebirthing of the new earth and the crystalline galactic human this powerful gateway is in the constellation of Leo with the heart of the lion and is here to assist us with the opening of our hearts for deep cleansing and healing. Lots of unexpected change is happening. This is part of the ascension journey and coming into a deeper connection with our hearts and an increased capacity to love and be loved as we continue to experience this massive spiritual awakening and embodiment of new light codes we are being initiated into a new and higher level of existence throughout the history of human evolution particularly in the early period of the ancient civilization of egypt the syrian masters carrying their star wisdom descended to earth to teach humanity the alchemical process and science of ascension the principle of oneness into the infinity consciousness of creator god and goddess during the lion's gate we will be in council and activity with the syrian masters and the magical syrian royal lions amongst other ascended masters as they actively assist us in moving into a new dynamic dimension of light a new octave of soul embodied life on this day of direct infinite alignment with the brightest star in the sky sirius and the lion's gate we will travel into a portal and be initiated into the next unprecedented enlightenment phase for humanity's ascension and from divine sister of the light linda lee dear family of love and light the divine has updates for the planet and humanity over the last few days while the energies were streaming to the planet the divine and the company of heaven worked very hard to move forward with the divine plan we have accomplished quite a few important items the divine has successfully brought the planet and humanity up another octave energetically humanity now has crossed the lion's gate and arrived at a much higher realm the divine wants to thank all the light workers for your beautiful and powerful light work it is a great achievement now the planet and humanity are in a more suitable position and the planet herself is resting in the process of uplifting the planet and humanity through the lion gate the divine was also able to communicate with the masses through this communication an agreement has been made the divine called it a new covenant between the divine and the planet and humanity at last the planet and humanity have realized that this is the moment that the divine needs to come and help the planetary ascension process the divine goddess mother goddess has presence on the planet earth and the planet has guardian parents now they are the divine mother father incarnations and they are the representatives of mother father god on the planet and they are the leaders of this planetary ascension process through this ascension process humanity will follow the divine guidance and spiritual laws working with the divine and the company of heaven and making sure that the planetary ascension is a successful one 
In the upcoming time, when the time comes, the divine will introduce the representatives of Mother Father God to the planet, and this is in the new agreement of the divine has made with the planet and humanity. Humanity also was informed that Gaia is going through a remapping process. The process has already started. Humanity needs to adapt to Gaia's rebuilding procedures and work with the divine to make sure the process is divinely controlled and managed so that the damage can be minimized. In the upcoming time and when the changes happen, humanity will learn that the planetary remapping is, by spiritual laws, protected and divinely managed. Gaia has the new map and all has been designed so that Gaia will have a healthy new body and humanity has a new home. The process may take some time and humanity needs to work with Gaia and the divine so that together the process will be successful and humanity will still have a life on earth while the process is going on. Preservation of the planet and life on the planet is paramount and humanity needs to understand that. In the next few weeks, the planetary changes will be more and more intense. Gaia's remapping process is going to come to the forefront for awakened souls and all souls on the planet to see. Humanity will have to wake up to the fact that planetary ascension has gone to the point that there is no more time for ignoring or ignorance. The planet and humanity really have to wake up to it and start the process. There is no more leeway and no more time left for delay. All souls on the planet have been called and now is the time for action. Gaia has no more patience for any type of ignorance or delay. The process will intensify regardless, that is the news. Thank you all for your dedication and light work. The Divine and Gaia have great appreciation for the light and love the light workers share. It makes a difference. Humanity feels it and wakes up to it. For that you are appreciated. Divine love for you all, Linda Lee, the Divine, Gaia, and the Company of Heaven. So it is. And today from Divine Brostar of the Light, Juan Jose Vallejo Civicos, August 9th, 2021, 1717 CET. The next steps of natural evolution for humanity is to shift the collective energies of the civilization through the sacred geometry in the energy grid of the eight-pointed star and the four Fibonacci sequences, expanding the global toroidal flow and spiritual connection of humankind to the galaxy structure of the fifth dimensional consciousness. The connection of the collective energies to the ley lines, the chakra energy centers of Mother Earth, the sacred sites and the energy umbilical cord of Mother Earth and humanity, to the seven sister stars in the Pleiades, and the telepathic connection to the galactic Akash of humankind. The money energy so important for many people on this holy planet has been accumulated in banks of coagulation and clots with the intention to release the energy once the process of healing is completed. The extraction of this money energy has been from a sick patient by unnatural methods and this energy cannot be released back into the collective organism for several reasons unless it is purified before through the fifth dimensional consciousness. 1. A transfusion of contaminated blood money energy will make the collective body sick again, creating a Black Friday effect on the planet. Number 2. The pendulum effect of money is the cause of the bipolar disorder, hypnotism and addiction to consumerism of the human mind. 3. Humankind cannot be swinging depending on the money energy and business mentality. A pendulum is not a natural structure for evolution but a bipolar movement for stagnation causing unhealthy energies. The blood money energy needs to be purified before it's released, transforming the contaminated clots and coagulations into a global, pure flow and fifth dimensional understanding, philosophy, and consciousness. The unconditional limitless production of a collective unified flow of rewardings for humans, contributing with natural human energies and creativity for the stable evolution of the civilization, like the sun creates light, consciousness, and energies for humanity, and like the stars and the galaxies create light, consciousness, and energies for the evolution of other civilizations. The multidimensional vision of the messengers sees into the future of humanity, transforming the present reality into energies that converge with cosmic timelines of evolution. 
that was the advice and guidance of the spirit source connection and universal energies master jesus christ twenty years ago knowing the consequences of the money energy not being handled by spiritual maturity quality and higher dimensional consciousness understanding and conception of the universal structures and the innate natural organic process of evolution in universal spirit the universal freedom of humanity is the understanding respect protection honoring of these universal structures and spiritual energies the intention of the master creation is to activate and preserve the multi-dimensional soul of this civilization united in peace and intelligent stable evolutionary prosperity and from divine brostar of the light shane shema on eight eight twenty twenty one i looked up at the sun and saw it conjoined with the star eighty two cancri in the third decan of the cancer constellation four of cups i saw the new moon as it transited into the leo constellation i also saw mercury mars and venus in the leo constellation four of cups i saw the figure of a being ignoring if you will the fourth cup i wasn't sure if it was out of the stubbornness or an inflexibility placed upon it by a hard exterior i was sure that it was indeed the fourth cup that held within its contents enlightenment sometimes we get so fixated on what we want to see that we become blind to all that we can see to see on the outside is to see on the inside and vice versa saying eighty nine why do we wash the outside of the cup don't we understand that what is on the outside represents that which is alive on the inside in the heart of the cancer constellation there is an open group of stars called m forty four synchronic with divine four four also known as precipi latin for manger when the child christos was born his mother mary star of the sea laid him in a manger cancer once laid there an angel told the shepherds that they would find their newborn messiah lying in a manger those popular notions we come to adopt most often represents the antithesis the direct opposite of what nature is attempting to show us we create the world by means of our beliefs yes so why change the world shouldn't we rather change our beliefs and from divine sister of the light carolyn servant of yahweh are you all feeling these powerful portal energies today's cards are indicating that we are leaving the mission to completely clear our akashic records of karmic relationships this eight eight lions gate has triggered and tested us to take the physical action steps needed to make these final changes the divine masculine within is ready for marriage with the feminine which has already begun integrating in the flesh the family bloodline and the soul's lineage is clearing the seed point of conception of this karma in particular the galactic star seed origins are clearing through god's judgments bringing great transformation and growth the darkness is transmuting to the light throughout all dimensional aspects freeing the masculine to return home to his original template as the bridegroom of christ the divine feminine within has received major light code upgrades from the omega stargate and the council of nine bringing transformation of the flesh removal of the seed point of addictions to drama and toxic karmic cycles of being used and accepting narcissists poor behaviors as transmuting as the new light codes enter this is a portal window of opportunity that is manifesting loving honest trustworthy and mutually respectful people to you today is the opportunity to rewrite your story god is clearing your akashic lineage of all past marriage contracts and relationships that have been blocking your divine union and financial rewards you have been diligently working towards receiving this clearing from the book of life since january 2021 achievement and success is yours take a moment today to decide what you are ready to release and write your new life's reality remain strong knowing this is a very beautiful new beginning of peace love and unity in your family and our tribe molecular healing is purifying all past hurts and insecurities for your internal marriage to complete this reunion is restoring the sisterhood of the rose and the divine feminine christ back into her position as a powerful alchemist with her divine masculine christ this is so huge and orchestrated by spirit patience is needed as this quantum transmutation completes itself 
We are co-creating and birthing this all-together family and with our spirit team. It's one and done. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Elise. Gaia Daily, August 9th through 13th. Bright Future. We are still feeling the potent energy of this weekend's Leo New Moon and Lionsgate Portal. Something feels different, but we are not sure what. The last couple of weeks have been a bloom of tension energy with Mercury and the Sun and Moon triggering Saturn square Uranus, the main transit of 2021. It is time to grow and expand again, but these new energies require a different way of moving forward. With Venus and Mars and Virgo, we are trying to sort out the rubble and find stability in the unknown. We are being asked to use our power of the mind and discrimination in order to navigate these times. Venus opposite of Neptune and Pisces says it's time to completely rescue the feminine from the stories and programming of the Piscean age. It is a time of purification and preparation and for healing any disparate parts of ourselves. We will be feeling Mars and square to the nodes of the moon this week. It is time for the enlightened masculine to get back on his path of destiny and stand up for the light of truth. The masculine and feminine within us have spent enough time in isolation and regret. Let this sacred divine marriage commence. Mars and mutable T-square with the nodes of the moon is forcing us to face the unknown, pick a lane, and choose a direction. Virgo is about sorting out what is essential and valuable and leaving the rest to rest. We are living in a strange time where we are about to find out that everything we thought to be true was actually false. We have bought into a completely fake reality, a long-time agenda to keep humanity from knowing its own power and potential. There is no doubt that a better future lies ahead for a free humanity. Nothing can stop it. That means that any way you look at it, the future is bright. Even though it is looking very dark right now, the only way forward is to be completely present and feel our way around the dark corners and back into the light. From AdrianElise.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Leah, White Horse, Lua Astrology, Mercury and Leo, Quincunx, Pallas and Pisces and Pluto and Capricorn, Saturn and Aquarius, Trine Vesta and Libra. Mercury's connections create a fleeting finger of God pattern, which points to how we think and communicate. We have an opportunity to discuss strategies, look for commonalities, think creatively, let our voice be heard. But all this requires that we overcome fears, challenge trust issues, and be open to problem solving. Everything seems to tell us to speak up, but part of us wants to stay silent, afraid of changing our minds, afraid of changing our lives. Pay attention to what floats through your mind as you go about your day. The universe drops hints and clues in quiet moments. Honor the truth. Saturn's connection to Vesta facilitates our efforts, bringing stability and maturity. Both are also trying to the North Node, which tells us this is important for our spiritual growth. Right now, we're asked to lean into our friendships, build community, support one another. Focus on equality and fairness for all. On a personal level, explore what needs to be done to keep the home fires burning. Consider in what ways does your spiritual practice serve society as well as yourself. Tend to responsibilities with grace and gratitude. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times Kin 238 White Self-Existing Mirror Self-existing is the name for the number four, and its keywords are definition, form, and measure. Day four is all about the finer details, taking a closer look and scrutinizing. Weigh up what you need and what you don't, make a list, and take care of the practicalities. Today is white mirror, which represents reflection, order, and endlessness. The truth is vital because without it, we live life as a fantasy. No matter how hard the truth may be, it always is better to know exactly where you stand. Be honest with yourself, and you will see things more clearly. When you combine the meaning of the number with the day, the result is the fine truth. Such an interesting combo today. Seek the truth and read the fine print. You may hear more truth than you are ready for, but from this you will be better able to proceed cautiously through this wave spell. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Self-Existing Mirror, Kin 238, 9th of August 2021, Reflecting on Endless Order. 
nine eight twenty twenty one equal twenty two equal nine eight five equal nine thirteen equal nine four equal thirteen equal four nine endings destiny humanity grace twenty two master builder architect of peace five freedom change liberation transformation thirteen goddess cosmic consciousness natural lore four form structure foundation earth kin two three eight equal thirteen equal four form foundation a beautiful day breaking out of the old box through our lion's gate into our new world built on a foundation of peace joy and prosperity day four in the blue eagle wave spell where we're being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture the divine play for humanity so that we can create it envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers and third eye are awakened and activated it is time for a mass awakening of humanity today we are redefining the form that our greatest vision will take in order to reshape and build our new world tone of creation self-existing tone four in the mental realm emphasizes thinking and analyzing action measures power defines essence forms the fourth day of the blue eagle wave spell is the one that gives shape and form four represents the earth element structure form solid foundations today's code adds up to a twenty two four which is the repeating frequency for kin two three eight i have noticed this pattern in the dream spell that every nine months the kin falls on the same numerical frequency outstanding synchronic order in the dream spell through the unraveling the four code of the master builder and the twenty two code of the architect of peace are instrumental in using these building blocks to reshape our world we are building a sturdy foundation for further growth to take place this allows you to manifest your dreams akbal and finally gives your idea shape and form in your physical reality now it is time to define what is important to you what stays and what goes when we use our discernment to mold the life we want we only keep what is in alignment with who we are or rather who we want to be what are you ready to cut and let go of by pruning and cutting away the old dead wood we encourage the new shoots and new growth seed and red dragon birth to take hold and bloom be willing to appreciate or prune where necessary call on wisdom and love to facilitate this pruning process open more fully to peace and harmony in all aspects of your life this harmony of self in one's life becomes the foundation of freedom the truth shall set you free it is time for peace to reign supreme in our lives and our world love harmony and abundance are all our natural birthright and so it is amen today is the day to release your big ideas and give them wings to take form channel your creative energy constructively generating the power for practical manifestation you are the architect who manifests your dreams today's questions are are the reflections in my world revealing a life filled with peace love harmony and endless abundance if not how can i restore more order for my dreams to take form and la keka la kin christina white magnetic world bridger kin sixty six kin two three eight white self-existing mirror the mantra the code for today is i define in order to reflect measuring order i seal the matrix of endlessness with the self-existing tone of form i am guided by the power of timelessness and in these most powerful times of timelessness and transformations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're experiencing what you're feeling your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of our monthly pledges and donations that we're able to continue doing this work and bringing these transmissions to the world i'd like to welcome and thank divine angel of the light abby for your pledge and support on patreon if you'd like to support our work and make a monthly pledge you can do so at our link at whitegoldeagle.com or go to patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure 
I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mariana Buruyana, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Sister. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account at the link at eaglelovecondor.com. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful, handmade, zodiac goddess totems and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now, we're going to complete today's transmissions with the powerful codes from our Pleiadian Bro Stars and Sistars of the Light. Pleiades 1 Messages, August 9, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Divine frequencies rise. Trusts are solicited. Crystalline alignments on Isle of Prosperity. Mid, violations decrease. Sages keep coming. Strengthening of grid, plus, 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 continues. Solaris forces keep coming. Attention the line, the star bearers. Support for projector for illumination started. 41% non-regressive. Divine artistic expanded, plus revealing movements. Plus, 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 11. Praj sust 11, 68% non-regressive. P1 plus Sint 11 Terrans greater than 100% non-regressive. Hermetic synchronization started, 83% non-regressive. Hermetic reverberations in progress, 83% non-regressive. Master responsibilities are invoked. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1 supporting active missionary channels. From DisclosureNews.it 1133 coming in. The triple eleven gateway portal fully open, bringing in the Lyran energies of the new lions of new Lemuria. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. We appreciate all of you for your support and joining us on this great ascension journey together as we rise into the glory, the honor of the new golden age of eternal bliss consciousness where all are equal sovereign divine and free where we all live and thrive in abundance and prosperity the eagle and the condor activate you in the divine union codes of the heros gamos and the divine abundance codes the divine prosperity and unconditional love. And remember to smile, 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 ground, ground, ground. Feel the joy, the bliss, and send that love, joy, harmony, peace to Pachamama, deep into the crystalline core, to the heart of Gaia, and to all her children, all sentient beings of pure light. And keep anchoring deep within as we rise higher and higher up the sacred spiral merging with the source code field of infinite life and infinite light. Keep walking gently your sacred path with her and shine brightly into the night. And always be sure to make it the best day ever. Enjoy the sacred sweet nectars of the gods. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.